Hey, this is Good Names, and welcome back to The Daily Advice. Oh, I thought my headphones were unplugged there for a second. So, back to the normal type of daily advice where I show you how to build stuff that is quite fun. So right here I have a chandelier. It doesn't look like much, but once I get it suspended by that pulley. Yeah, I'm glad that was set up correctly. By this pulley, I'll actually be able to put these lights on that I have here. What are these? Side mount torches. Wall torches. Yep, give us a little bit more light to work in. They really don't provide that much light. So, what I'm going to be doing here is suspending this in a very creative manner. So I have all these ropes set up. Uh, these will be two different pieces. One will have the center part and then one will have this non-centered part, this outer rim, which will have the torches on it to give off accurate lighting. I just know there's a whole bunch of circular torch racks. So what I'll do is I'll deconnect that to give it a little bit more space. All this is built one off from the ground. I believe it is right there. I won't be detaching this main bit because or else that means that whole thing will be a little bit closer to this and we don't want that because we want this bottom bit to be if as far away but not too far away from this top bit just to make it look cool. So right now I have a setup in a ring formation four on all sides and four on all sides on the inside. Now I'm going to connect them up diagonally. Now this is what I found actually works quite nicely with this is that if you hook if you build this all square and then you attach these up diagonally it will give you a nice bit of room to work with. And if I am to deconnect this, I might have to go into spectator for this. There we go. Oh, I've had some. Oh, quick, quick, spool it up. Some have been destroyed because of these physics. Yes, it's working. Yes. Oh, we give you the unlit chandelier. Never mind that. Were you spooling up rope? Did I seriously put you on backwards? Yes, I did. Well, thank you for that. So now, I should really put more weights on these. It'll stay out. So what we have now is a nice hanging chandelier. Usually you won't be moving this during a party, so no one might get squished underneath. But for now, we'll just put in these torches. Yeah, rotate. Please, please, sir, rotate. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You don't like it? You don't like it? Fine. That should be working, honestly. How is that not working? Which, maybe? Let's retry that. Retry that. You're just having a party, isn't that? That's why. More weight. I think you had that. I, we've got flubber! It's accelerating. It's accelerating on us. Mass. Honestly, how you stop things from moving. Don't delete things. Ah, these things are so unpredictable. Yeah, that's why I just have stationary torches. Nice little lighting fixtures I've made up here. Wow. Fine, you don't like me. You could have just said that before I started recording this video. Ah, <sighs> chandeliers. You're a troublesome existence. Yeah. So good luck to anyone who is trying to make a chandelier. Ah. I think it's just these torches. Let's try that. Extended video. Yeah, just these torches. Ah. <clears throat> they just added those blocks in on this update. If this is a later video, and eh, hopefully they'll work. So do try them out for yourselves, but I'll be using these torches. How fun these. Oh, so, so, so give me a good place. Oh, upside down. Thank you. Yes. We have the chandelier of the gods. We put more on here. Ooh, more weight does help. So you might want to build your chandeliers big. Give it a nice little lopsiding system going here. Wow. Hoops of fire. In Space Engineers, I was able to get hoops of fire working. I was using some sort of missile. It was a mod that I was using for it. 
I almost wrote. No, I did write my name in. I wrote my name in fire once. That was a great day. In aspects of medieval engineers. Thumbnail. Ah, oh, that was my old thumbnail button, and then I fixed it because of that. Wow. So that has been the daily advice on how to actually make, at the current time, chandeliers. And I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy this outro. So once again, thanks for watching this daily advice. As usual, there will be another one out tomorrow. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did indeed like this advice. If you do have any suggestions on advice or something you would like me to look into, please do add that in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one.